Well, without further ado, let us hit continue. Get it? I rhymed it. Without further ado, with continue. <clears throat> yes, yes. So right now we need to get the Omega clearance from Ted Pharaoh's Tomb. Please. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. How? Oh. How? Oh. But we'll do that eventually. Hello, lady. Talk to me. A caravan of Osterer made camp in the still sands south of here. We've tolerated them so far. But their leader is a greedy profiteer, and he's bringing in all kinds of supplies from no man's land. They'd better hope our commander doesn't decide to supply them with a swift death instead. I'm sure there's more important things on your commander's mind. A swift death. Don't oh. let check the pretty land see. Take a look. Or see what to. Oh, it's not Porgoff. Who's Porgoff? <laughs> hmm. Ah, we'll deal with that soon. We got other things to be doing first. Come on. Alright. So we're gonna go to this one first. Because we already solved it. Which makes it hella easier. Should hit it with frost ammo. Nah. I'll let them find it out. I have no intention on taking on them. Taking them on. <coughs> anyway, like I said, we're gonna take care of this reboot code on the land gods. You there? I'm here, Aloy. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter, so his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging hello, to my hello. mother by the hearth, <clears throat> snuggling <throat> for warmth, and listening to her sing of new beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to give to your people. I hope so. All right then. I'll head to Plain Song and deliver the code to the land gods there. Okay. We're rebooting land gods. <clears throat> that sounds fun. <sighs> well, that is good to know. Okay. I would say the fastest way to get there is gonna be from here. Now, let's do this one since it's like kind of right there. And then we'll go to the next one. That way we're not like following like mix signals. So we wanna kinda of go straight south. So said this one broke down amidst a herd of machines. I better be careful. I guess they were leaving offerings to the land god. That looks like something fried them. French fried? The might still be around. Yummy.
Glad to hear that Where's you're happy. The but I'll have to deal with those machines before I install the reboot code. Acid will do a lot of damage. I was like, where's that noise coming from? Alright, taking on a Ravenger completely in the open is not a fun idea to me. That's a tree, good sir. You are definitely booty smacking that thing. He has no idea where I am. He's just like, what the fuck? Where'd that tickle come from? I'm like, uh, nowhere, good sir. With the override fixed, I can use it on Ravagers now. I think that's all the machines. Time to install this code on that land god. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that until I have raided all of the booty. And there is unfortunately a lot of booty. Well, fortunate for me, unfortunate for the game.
I got okay. so lucky that we knocked time. out that Ravenger's cannon. Because damn, we needed it. <laughs> Remember that awkward moment we've gotten stuck in so many large monsters and had to be like, well, fuck me. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Let's try this again. Nice and easy. Another land god dealt with. Hey, Zo. Aloy, how goes it? I found T and installed the reboot code. Fitting then that I feel thankful. T's festival came in winter, when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude, and all the children would receive gifts. The best was my first bow, made of you, strung by my father. It's made of you. He definitely taught you how to shoot me. That he did. There's one more thing. I found two of your people. A Stormbird got them. But I took it down. Oh. I'll make sure someone retrieves their seed pouches, so they may return to the land. How are things on your end? Getting there. A few land gods to visit still. Okay. I'll call you when I'm done with the last one. Thank you, Aloy. I found a few of your people. They were roasted like potatoes. Fried like cheese. Delicious like a pizza. So weird that we're just talking about food and fried people. I'll get help! Such a bad shot, I miss most of them now. Do 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 doodly doodle do Ripperino Mr. Maraschino Cherry
Weird. Oh well, anyway, back to what we were doing. Holding up. All right, we should be approaching the next zone. There, one of the land god shrines. So said this one sank in a nearby lake. Now that the override's fixed, I better stay away from that snap moth. I think the land god is underneath that rubble. I think the land god is underneath that rubble. Do I have a way to even attack this thing? I don't think so. Wonder how I we're gonna need to get this. to that land god so I can install the reboot code. Well, obviously. Should have expected that result. But here we are.
back on track. That should do it. go. Land gods are taking care of doodly doodle doo. There we go. Honestly, I didn't need to take land god. care of the alligator. Zo, can you hear me? I can hear you, Aloy. Had to swim a bit, but I gave the reboot code to So. Ah, good. We used to celebrate so in the fall, at the beginning of the harvest, with wine made from elderflowers. When I was twelve, I got tipsy on it and kissed a boy in the sage garden. How'd that go? He was so surprised he nearly fell into the mulch. <laughs> it would be good to see so again. Plowing the fields in the afternoon sun. When you can, meet me at Plainsong and we'll send out the reboot signal. I've delivered the code to all the land gods, save one. Only La is left. I'm here with her, just east of the main village. Okay, I'll get there as soon as I can. Okay, yeah, we're heading towards the closest one just by going this way. Excuse me. For the next fight. Hmm. Random supplies, I'll take it! Honestly, that's not even gonna get us anywhere close to where we need to go anyway. Honestly, it would be significantly faster to just run. A bit more north, so basically this direction. Honest to God, I do want to replay these games already. Why oh, doesn't smell any better than it looks? All of the land gods have been updated. Now to send out the reboot signal. told me this would happen. To all of them. Do, T, So, and the rest. She called it a reboot sequence. But I didn't think it would be so beautiful. Soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did. Zo, the chorus wants a word. Of course they do. Do you want me to come? No need. I'll just tell them that our lands will soon bloom again. Who are they to argue? Find me later. And I'll tell you they're singing. Good luck. Uh, they're rebooting. Yeah, it's singing.
What's funny is it's the people now singing to the reboot sequence. It'd be like hearing like your computer go be doo be doo be doo and thinking that's just a song. <laughs> Aloy, I suppose it's only natural that you should be. The just this. you know. Those are AOL seats. connect noise. And Linus, yeah, the pouch you recovered from the promontory. Because of their crimes, their seeds cannot be planted in plain song. They must be given to the river be carried to distant lands. Perhaps there they will find a new start. Kells and Linus' families didn't want to be here for this. So, it falls to me to carry out the task. I know this falls must be to me. for you. Kell was an ally. But I never thought she would go to such extreme lengths. I such extreme lengths. Her fate is deserved. May these waters take you to a verdant spring. It's done. Well, that was interesting. There's a campfire right here. Makes my life easier. Doodly doodly doo. Zenith Research Lab's right up that cliff. Catalo said that's where we'll find the parts to build him a new arm. Mm -hmm. I should let him know I'm here. Da, 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 da. Hey, Catalo? I'm at the Zenith Lab. Ready to come over? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Aloy, I appreciate you meeting me here. I'm happy to help. Did Gaia mention where exactly in the Zenith Lab we'd find what you need? She mentioned the chamber where you found Beta, and the database that lies within. She said it'll help us find the knowledge and components I require to build a new arm. At least we know where to look. We will have to be quick about it, in case the Zeniths are watching. Understood. Understood. I hope we can get Catalo a new arm, though. The lab's up this way. Could you imagine mountain climbing one-armed, though? You okay? I got this. Granted, I couldn't imagine Machines. mountain climbing anyway. We're scrapping the specters for parts. Should we dispose of them? Or we can sneak past them. Your choice. Could probably be easy just to one shot it like this, but I'm gonna just do the insta kill. They're getting close. No, they're not. They're getting dead. Fire 
there won't do much. I knew there was something else here, but I didn't know where it were. Battle it is. Careful! It's dangerous even with missing parts! Like Cotello would know. He's dangerous even with his missing part. Entrance to the lab is by that tunnel. Come on. I'm catching snowflakes on my lashes. I love how like all the dead bodies from here are still here. Like all of the, the, the Zenith, the uh, other things, and then the Rebels. It's like to think she survived for hundreds of thousands of years just to die to a bunch of savages. The anime did this? Hard to believe, but yeah. We better get a move on. The room we found Beta in is up ahead. Lead the way. Stuck him in the butt. Doodly doo. It put a sail up and we went. Boop. Is that it down there? Yep, we better make our way down there. We're here. Now we just need to find a way to access the database Guy was talking about. Laurel mentioned you found Beta in one of those pods. Locked up inside such a thing. Barely room to breathe. I think I found what we're looking for. Let's. Hope it holds the answers we seek. I'll download the database to your focus, so you can search through it later. What about the components? They should be somewhere on the... Spectres! Fight with honor! What? You can't kill a one-armed soldier? Stop antagonizing the enemy!
not giving up. Why do they have to make them like tentacle squid creature things? Zenus might send reinforcements. We need to finish up and get out of here. The components should be somewhere on the second floor. Excuse you, sir. I'm right behind you. Sir. Excuse you, sir, sir, sir. I know you are an abomination, but damn. Sir, sir. Sir, are you okay, sir? I don't think he's okay. Also, cat one. decide to inevitably leave. Good, sir. Alright. We need to search the entire floor. I'll keep a lookout. Don't want any more surprises. Good idea. Event. Might be a way out of this room. Components have to be here somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> Please. 
Please tell me the components are in there. Gotcha. I should go back and give these to Katalo. Of course. Just ignite this. You got your like three bites of food. Now you wanna leave again? Skitty bitty buddy booty. Skitty bitty buddy booty. Skibbity bibbity bibbity boo. Scribbity bibbity boo. You found the components? See for yourself. You have my thanks, Aloy. Something wrong? I was just thinking about what it will be like after I build the arm. Will I feel different? Whole again? <laughs> Idle thoughts. They can wait until we're back at base. You got Idle it. thoughts. I might want to take one more look around, in case there's anything useful. Very well. I look forward to putting what we found to good use. Walk with the ten. Walk with the ten. I don't think there's anything else here that would be useful. And of course, this sucks. Now we have to actually manually walk our way out of base. I do find it convenient that, like, everything is just so, like, condensed in the world here. It's like, oh man, everything was super close together. Like, despite the fact that there's an entire huge ass world, nah, dead pharaoh, and. You know, the secret bases and like kind of where everything was together. Yeah, they're, they're all near each other. Convenience. It's like, no, that would never be the case. I mean, I get it. They had to reduce the size of the world to make like the actual movement to and from places to be convenienter, but like, damn. Going back to the base, we'll talk to Zoe and Katalo. La da 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 I see you, champion. I see you, champion. You should know the rebels have been busy. They've set up outposts to the west. And I know the marshals can't deal with all of them, so I'd stay alert out there if I were you. Thanks for the warning. Getting rid of those outposts might stop the rebels from killing more of their own. Maybe I can lend the marshals a hand. Pretty sure I've been killing all of the uh, rebel outpost bases that I can. Come on, there we go. Ha! Hey, maybe speak. One second. Braving the wilds as reckless as ever, are we? Me? Never. Me? Never. How's it going with the arm? It is nearly complete, but I'm still adjusting the fittings. Soon, I must test it. Looking forward to it. Ah, oh, that's it? You probably want to get back to training. Be safe. 
I thought it said talk to Catalo. Uh, is it gonna say wait now? Yeah, I knew it. Fuck. Oh well. You're back. Good. Before we talk, I wanted to give you this. For helping me heal the land guns. Plain song is in your debt. Thank you, Zo. You deserve much more for all you've done. May the land always bloom in your steps. And yours? And yours? I assume you've been looking into Demeter now that Gaia's merged with it? Yes. It's been humbling to know that the seeds I carry in this pouch came in turn from the seeds saved for Demeter in the Old World. It gives me hope that the cycle of life will prevail now, just as it did before. That's the hope. How to go with the chorus after we fix the land gods. They were shocked when I told them that our lands would soon be on the mend. I thought Fane's eyes would pop out of his head. But of course they had no choice but to take it as good news, even if it meant all their preaching about meekly accepting our doom was exposed as rot. To be honest, rot. I found the conversation to be highly enjoyable. I'm glad. You deserve it. They're lucky that you never gave up on saving them. <laughs> That's very true. I better go now. Be careful. We got the Utaru Warden, which I'm going to assume is a look. Who really freaking knows at this point? <sighs> weapon upgrades, weapon upgrades. Always looking for a weapon upgrade. Do 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 more green shine slabs. Did anybody seen one of my machines? use of this we may have too fast sometimes and I love it don't let the pretty landscapes all right what another outpost I could have sworn I took care of that do they like just come back to them after a while or do they just make new ones as you go Honestly, both of them would not surprise me, but. <sighs> so I want to go southwest. There it is. Another rebel outpost. I was told I'd find one here. I should take out the leader.
Let's find that outlander. You, on me. Let's stop her sneaking around. Ah! Uh, Damn it! You're in a No, I have you. I've got a straight shot. Pretty sure you shot a curved shot. Fallen soldiers. I should get these back to Duca. Without a leader, the rebels should abandon this place. But I could always deal with them now. Either way, I'm done here. Looks like Frost is no good here.
Bloody hell. I feel like there's like several like quests. Skora. Aloy, wasn't expecting to see you in Scalding Spear. I hear you fixed the wound and stopped the war within our clan. I was just lucky your commander was willing to listen. Wasn't luck that took down the bulwark or fought off Regala? What's next? Saving the world? If I'm lucky. Um, have you been to Plainsong? Did you see Kore? I haven't had the chance. Oh. Oh. At the ready, soldier. What's going on? My squad's being sent on patrol northwest of here. I won't be able to see Kore for a long time. I wonder Say hi. if you could let him know. I don't want him to think I've abandoned him. We are moving out. Please. If I find my way to Plain Song, I'll let him know. Sakura, I will leave your scab ass behind. Thank you, Aloy. There you go, buddy. Uh. All right, guess we gotta go to fucking Plain Song now. <laughs> Grubbis was just like, I want to come in here. So I put him in the window. Will he stay there? Who knows? But I tried. Right, buddy? He seems to be finding something to look at out there. So, like, that's a plus. Oh, God. All right, what are you doing wrong here, sir? Porgif. Everything okay there, Porgif? Ah, my steel flame friend. My Behold. steel flame friend. Oh, your lockbox. The one I found in the tunnel. Just the one. It was bequeathed to me when my dear Ma passed. Never could get the damn thing open, but the lock must have broken off when the rock breaker attacked. Haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Master to have it. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key. You know how it is with small objects, big hands. Not that you know how it is exactly. I mean, your hands are dainty, of course. No, dainty. I'm not dainty. <laughs> well forged. That's it. Poor Guff. All right, I stole the box. It was supposed to go to Marsa, but I just wanted something of my ma's to remember her by. So the box rightfully belongs to your sister, and now you want to return it. What was inside that made you change your mind? Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you want me to give this box to your sister. Where is Where she? Is she? That is a good question. I know she was working in Chain Scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. I could ask her. Ha <laughs> ha! Well forged and well connected. Well forged and well connected. If I'm in the area, I will try to find your sister. At least to hear her side of the story. Okay. Well, if you see Marsa, tell her. I still remember the flying keg. 
I still remember the blind. I would know where I can find Marcia. I should pay her a visit the next time I'm in Chain Scrape. You know, we haven't been to Chain Scrape in a long time, so let's go there first. For another round. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. And thanks to your handiwork, I got my hands full getting this place into shape. I guess you found the right place. Guess I did. You did. Has Talland been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah. His shop got closed down not long after Olven got the boot. So, he cleared out of town. Took his goons with him, too. Good riddance, I say. <laughs> Good riddance. The concession decree Olven wanted, what was it exactly? And how would it have helped him? Big old pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would have put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would have meant that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olven had a stake in all those claims, it would have made him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chain Scrape would have become an Osram municipality, so he could have bought enough votes to call himself an elder man. <sighs> He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Almost got away with it, too. <laughs> I'll give him that. Hey, I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chain Scrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard, she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast of here. Thanks. Hmm. Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck waiting into that muck. Yeah, right. I'll uh, see you around, Petra. Until next time. Until we have another use for uh, asking you a question or seven. Alright. Okay, that one's actually not too bad. Usually it feels like they're super duper far away and you're like, ugh, this one's not so bad. Petra said Porg's sister should be working around here. I have a feeling she won't be thrilled to hear from her brother. But at least she'll get her lockbox back. Marsa? Yeah? What's it to- Oh! The Nora maid? How do you know my name? I, uh, met your brother Porgif out west. He asked me to give you this. My ma's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, 
He broke the lock, too! Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh. So he's dead, then? Mm. No. Uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. Oh. Then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. Hmm. Let's see here. Guilt finally caught up with him. A jewel. Hmm. Surprised he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my ma. Her last wish was that I make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her all the family so much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgov read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. <laughs> That look. When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Porgov got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Porgov still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure, but he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted again sounds like a good memory <laughs> think that might be the only time i can remember us not fighting just lying there by the lake laughing till it hurt to breathe laughing when you met my brother did he look okay as well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert you could see for yourself nah i mean I heard some folks are headed out that way, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here, for your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, you'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. Okay, that's one done. And now we need to go to the plain song one, right? That is. Yeah. Nice. I like how they switch from one Aaron quest to the next. That's really nice, actually. Sleepy little kitty and my window gotta go to bleep bleep sleepy little window. So, are you there? I'm in plain song and it's amazing. It's just like you said, the fields are back in bloom. And we have you to thank for it. If you hadn't come along, the Utaru would still be starving, under siege by machines. I'm just glad it worked out. Yes. First plain song. Next, the world. Aloy, good to see you again. Take it easy, children. Those drove out the This sounds pleasing. But not right. the wind carry you. Aloy, I hear you've been making quite the impression on the clan lands. Saving the Desert Clan from itself? Forcing the Commander Takote out of hiding? Defending the Grove from Regala? I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Your sister sent me. Her squad's been assigned further west, so... She won't be able to come see you, Koray. She wanted to make sure you knew. That sounds like my sister. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's a song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. 
I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands, the Sky Clan build instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try the Metal Weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. <laughs> this song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villagers southwest of here. You'll be doing me and playing Song of Favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. Maybe. I didn't think the Tanakh cared much about gifts. When I first moved here, I remember some days were more difficult, difficult. than others. But I came to embrace the life I found here, and I, I don't see why I can't help Corey do the same. He's lucky to have you. Tell me more about this long leg. It's a particularly nasty one. Looks different, too. Tainted like the lands around here used to be. It protects a group of machines that overran a small outpost southwest of Plain Song. Its call is easy enough to track, but if it spots us, it'll call reinforcements faster than you can draw your bow. Take it out with the rest of those machines, though. Plain Song has one less problem to deal with, and Corey gets to play his melody. Victory for all. Corey gets to play his melody. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. <laughs> Don't fall off the walkway. May the land bloom in your steps. Hey, Aloy, wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plain Song? It's quite a place. The fuck is yeah, <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. Oh. A lot worse. Yes. Do what you can for them, Yef. I remember I will. who you are. Won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. It is kind of nice, though, that, like, that there's so many different, like interactions also i'd like to point out this entire area used to be like super duper duper like red and everything but now it's all green the rock the blight it's gone land gods are land godding like look at this like we were running through it earlier just like an hour ago and it was like toxic and now it's like not Six. So I'm going to assume Catalo is going to be able to get his arm back. Saving the world. Jax is in trouble. Bird water ammo should do the trick. Nice of you to join me. Thought you could use the backup. Uh. 
You're scared. You okay? You arrived not a moment too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught on a wear by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it. Sounds like our long legs at the top of that cliff. Oh, looks like we're climbing. We'll make quick work of it. <laughs> this reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off. To hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru students become fighters worthy of any Tanakh clan. I felt useful, like I belong. And so plain song became home. I'm sure Corey will find his place too. I hope so. Almost there. It sounds like that long leg isn't alone up there. I'm afraid there's our long leg. And the guitar fell. Might be best to silence it before it can call reinforcements. Bridgewater's the wrong ammo for that. Could be useful if I time it right. Are you fucking with me, dude? I missed. We're in trouble. This 
Machines incoming. Now's my chance. That's some firepower. done, Outlander. Now they're in full. What is with that? Like, Aloy just gets knocked around in the air sometimes. Now we salvage the part we came for. to show me our prize, Huntress? Uh. Many thanks, Aloy. Without you, I might have been in trouble. Why don't you take that piece to Corey for me? The villagers felled by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? Tell Corey I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. Something right here, though. Tre. Locator beacon on the same frequency. Oh. 
They always say that, but I can never find them. Cora. Aloy? I thought you had left Plainsong. Well, I thought about it. But then I'd have to carry this long leg throat all by myself. You found? Jax did. <laughs> that old man. Can still hear perfectly fine. So let's hear it. I'm gonna need some help. Aloy, can you take this to the workbench, please? You won't have to do much, I promise. Promise. You'll see a wide cavity on the instrument. That piece should fit right in. I think it's good to go. It actually made a fairly unique sound for this, too. I like it. A song of two peoples indeed. Thank you, Aloy. My debt to you seems to only grow. Hearing that was payment enough. That may be, but you should at least take this. You deserve it. May the wings of the ten hearten your step. <laughs> There's something going on in Thornmarsh, but like, we've yet to get a quest for it, unless I actually have to like, go into Thornmarsh, and then they'll give it to me. A rush of air. There's a quest. Welcome, Outlander. I, I was stuck on guard. <laughs> if you have won, you're on it. Okay. I thought I'd be shit. Shh. Shh. 
She'll be back. Best now. Keep an eye on her. Is she sick? <laughs> it's Aloy, isn't it? It's Aloy, isn't it? I am Ateka, commander of the Lowland clan. The girl, Zella, was poisoned by the blood choke. For months, it has polluted our waters, choke. depriving us of food and clean drink. We've learned to live with it as best we can. But recently, without explanation, the filth cleared from much of the lowland. Yet one river still runs red, like a split vein from a rotted corpse. So the water here is still poisoned? Exactly. I sent my best squad to find its source, led by Zala's mother. <sighs> they failed to report back. Failed to report back. Akaro told me how you dropped part of the throne on Regala at the Cool Root. Saved his life. So lend me your strength. Together we can find my squad and the source of the poison. Okay, I can do that. Sounds like you know Hikaru pretty well. He was my commander before he was my chief. I had served in his squad since we were bare-armed youths. Back then, he was a merciless warlord. Determined to destroy any enemy of the Lowland clan. I was with him the day he took the grove. Stood guard outside as he claimed the throne within. He entered a conqueror. But returned with the ambition of ending the constant bloodshed between the clans. Because he saw Faraday's message. Yes. That vision changed him, gave him new purpose. He became our first chief, ruler of all Tanakhth, and dedicated the tribe to fighting machines instead of each other. If you're so close with Hikaru, why aren't you a marshal? I wanted to serve as one, but... Akaro needed someone he could trust to lead his former clan. Maintaining control of the desert and sky clans is difficult enough for him. But the title wasn't handed to me. I fought for the honor as our rights demand. Five days of scars and blood. By the last sunset, I stood alone. The new commander. Close to 20 years have passed since. This blood choke. Is that what you call the red algae? Yes. A couple years ago, it was only a thin streak of red in the river. It grew over time. Until it was a constant poison. It sickens those who drink the polluted water, kill the fish we used to catch. But a while ago, unexplainably, the rivers began to clear. All except for one. Because of it, my people continue to waste away, weakening the clan. I'll help you find your missing squad. Good. I'm heading out now. The longer the blood choke remains, the longer my people suffer. We'll follow the Red River. The squad would have done the same. Might be able to pick up some sign of them. It's interesting the way her hair is set up. It just doesn't Let's head feel out. like that's the way like we'll start hair at the goes. Mouth of the Red River. You know? It just it feels a little odd. Or is that just me? For months, I've watched as the strongest warrior and the smallest child alike fell ill from the blood choke. When the other rivers cleared, it seemed like the tide had finally turned. To see those hopes dashed. Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We must. There's the mouth of the river. We follow it upstream, we find the source of the poison. And hopefully, the squad. I'll follow your lead. The machine has taken down recently. Hmm. 
Those machines couldn't have been brought down easily. And there's blood. Sounds like fighting. The squad could be in trouble. Hazma ammo isn't gonna do much. To knock soldiers. That's the squad. We have to bring those machines down! Gather round. Commander to my stash. and the Chief's champion. Your help came just in time. Aloy, good fighting. Hateka, these weren't ordinary machines. They were overridden by rebels. Regala. Another poison to contend with. How did this start? We fought our way up the river to here. And then... We found that. We advanced to investigate. We had just started the climb when these machines attacked. Seemed like they were on patrol. A pile of dead machines, a poison river... And Regal's rebels. That can't be a coincidence. I agree. Rest. And then head back to Thornmarsh. Little Zella is waiting for you. Aloy and I will take it from here. Yes, Commander. If there are rebels up there, it could be a trap. We'll fight our way through regardless. You with me? Let's find a way up. We're like, of course, we've killed enough of our rebels already. On your lead, Aloy. This way. That's a lot of dead machines. Normally, fresh water would be gushing over the edge. Now it's just. It looks like we'll have to climb up the falls. Right through the blood choke. Let's do it. <sighs> this water smells like rot. Try living with it. Damn filth all over my hands. Just don't let go. Don't have to tell me twice. Oh, I hope this holds. So many dead machines. How? Aloy. I'm okay. Hear that? That sounds like a machine. Huh? 
Wait! We're exposed here. It hasn't seen us. Come on, go away. That's a fire claw, isn't it? Some kind of rebel camp. So many machines. Butchered. There's fresh water coming from those falls. That dam must be blocking it. We'll have to take out the rebels first before we can deal with it. Two against men. Mad at the right moment. Look All alive, for the soldiers. lowland. Keep an eye out for machines or lowland. That's a champion. Don't want to deal with you yet. Is your head exposed? Yes. Oh, reach level 50. That's me. We're gonna do that one slow as can be. Cause fighting one of those guys is not on my priority list today. I'll wait here. I'll grab this now.
Yeah? Are you really, though? I think I can follow you there. That wasn't even a slice noise. Visibility's bad in this storm. Oh, that's the last one. What were the rebels doing here? Let's find out. Have a look around. I thought I saw something over by the dam. I'll go check it out. Some machine lore. Well, that explains all these machines. But why put it here? My focus might show me more. The Revels had a large operation here. There has to be something else that'll tell us what was going on. I thought I saw some equipment over by the falls. Keep that in mind. Maybe we missed something near the device. What I hit from this thing could do a lot of damage. There's one of these at the grove, in the arena. About to put down machines. I don't think I can follow you there. I thought I saw some equipment on the cliffs near the falls. There's Thornmarsh. The rebels could keep watch on it from up here. Spying on us this whole time. Damn scabs. Damn scabs.
It's a message from one of the sons of Prometheus. It says the rebels were about to leave, but decided to guard the dam after the water started to clear. They saw an opportunity and seized it. I hate these search and find because it's always annoying to search and find. Like, we already got a gear. But. Uh, it's going. We're playing Blue's Clues, really, though, right now. We're looking for a clue! A clue! It's not going very well. Machine scrap and broken corruptor components used for overrides. Were the rebels testing them here? So all these dead machines are what? Failures? I think maybe. Spineless cowards. Poisoning us until we waste away. The dam. Can you break it? I'll take a look. I should scan the dam. Might show me a weak point. I'll wait here. You be able to pull part of the dam open. Expose the sack. But... Refreshing. Yes. be able to pull part of the dam open. Expose the sack. Come back, Aloy! There's the sack. It's gonna take a powerful shot to blow it up. And I can't do both at once. The ballista. Hey, Ateka. Can you get up there? Fire a bolt while I hold this thing open? A rebel weapon to destroy a rebel dam. I'm on it. <sighs> All yours, Ateka! Hold on, I'm almost in position. Aloy, you don't have to keep struggling, just hold still. Aloy. This works. Hold it! Nice flying. Ha ha. Ha ha. We did it. Ateka? It's gone. After all this time, we're finally free of the poisoned waters. Thank you, Aloy. I must return to Thorn Marsh. Meet me there when you can. You deserve a proper reward. You deserve a proper reward. Why can't we just teleport there? Give me the object!
Need to head back to Thornmarsh. This might be a nice glide down. So chances are next Looks week like we'll resume here. actual story again. <laughs> right. Walk among us. Which is awesome, of course. May your blade hold true. Who wants to play some machine strike? You can barely tell where one ended. Aloy, I was just recounting your deeds at the dam. Our deeds. Our deeds. We did it together. True enough. Look around. Thornmarsh is free of the blood choke. We don't have to live in fear of the poison. It feels like for the first time in months, we can wash our wounds with clean water. And how are you feeling, Zella? Ready to hunt. <laughs> Not yet, <laughs> little warrior. I promised you a reward equal to your deeds. I cannot think of anything more fitting than this. Thank you. Wherever your travels take you, Aloy, may you always fly on the wings of the Ten. All right. So actually, we could probably do that. Two hours to do this. Easy. You saved Carlo. Find Alva and go to Fall's Edge? What? Why does this feel like it's like... Competing ideas. Weird. Let's read the quest. So many ducks. We could be hunting them. I need to kill them. For parts. Across the water, look for landfall. And Ova. No one here. That's strange. Well, nothing's stopping me from taking a boat. We're on our boat. We're on our boat. Ayla's going and pushing herself onto a boat.
pushing me south. There's no choice but to head for that beach. There's a pretty shot. No one's guarding this side of the ferry either. Where are the Quinn? They're on landfall, I guess. I better go find it. Should be to the northeast. would do a lot of damage. Focus can tell me more. Something seems to the tunnel down. Maybe the current. Better take a look at the damage. Is that what the Glintalk was carrying? Might be able to find the parts at their nest. <sighs> Those Talnic parts must be up there somewhere. I just have to get to them.
Aloy falling into the water is the most obnoxious shit in the world because she like Like that's not what happens when you fall in the water. You don't suddenly go down like ten feet. Okay, I'm in the seaweed, therefore I am invisible. I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck to get up into any of these. Because to get to that, I basically have to get up into there. But how do I get into here? Or I need to get over into there. But I don't know if I can get into there. Maybe I can. Maybe I cannot. I don't know. Looks like the part I'm looking for. One down, one to go.
guess we're done here. Ah, this used to be a stadium. This is where I found one of the parts missing from that tarmac. Another one might be nearby. Shortcut for when we inevitably fall in. to me the second tall neck part up the last of the parts I need. I should get these back to the tall neck. jump onto that tarmac. Yeah, well, the hard part is finding land for Aloy to get up on. It's 
Because apparently Aloy can't grip anything when she's in the water. She becomes completely unable to do anything basic. Yeah, 99% sure that's not how I was supposed to do it, but you know what? I'm fucking here. I should be able to jump onto the tall neck from here. Climb up to his head. I like how in this one each tall neck is slightly different to how to get it. Like, they're all like unique. As opposed to in the first one, like, each shawl neck was kind of the exact same, barely ever having to do anything different. And this time it's like, oh, each one is a puzzle now. It's alright. Almost done. one black box. Unfortunately, we're still missing two more. Which I guess could be in some of these question mark spots. Like there's an entire section right here we have not gone in. random little island right here. Interesting. Honestly, I hate swimming in this game. It takes so long, it's so slow, but whatever.
So these are the ruins of San Francisco. You know what? Let's go grab this black box because we can. Entire city of crumbling towers. And some are buried out here as thieves. I hope Alva and the Quim can help me find it. Oh, we're max level, by the way. 50. We don't get any more experience. Broken building looks interesting. That one looks interesting. Something inside. This might be our last sphere, our hol last holiday sphere. I think we've found all the ruins. Okay, I'm in. I should take a look around. There's a crate, but how to get to it? Am I doing things the intended way? I don't know. Am I just doing things? Uh-huh. No! Fuck. Damn it, I did not want to fall. as clean as I'm gonna get out here. help me I don't know should be able to pull that looks like there's an ornament in there how to get to it I think that vent might lead to the floor above lines too short Oh. 
Interesting. Uh, up in the regular just start with two, and from there just hit each number counterclockwise, so right to left. This could help. Nope. I'm in. How does that actually help me get the ornament? I don't even know where the ornament is. That's right below me. To this. <sighs> Great. Door needs a key module and a two part code to open. Sounds like I might find those things higher up. What are you stuck on? Jesus Christ. I fell down this again. That is the second fucking time I've fallen down the exact same thing. I believe this is the last, so we gotta do it, you know? to this area over here. Oh, 
Unfortunately, we cannot. Gotta be a reason. There's gotta be something I can do. Letter could be useful. Just gotta find a way to lower it. Well, let's just fucking fall down here. See if there's any reason there are bathrooms in here. Bye. Okay, I know where that goes. What about this one? Hmm? We were already here, weren't we? Yes. And there was, of course, nothing. There's fire gleam, that doesn't help me. Metal flower right there. I've yet to figure out how to get in here. To get to that access point, we gotta get behind it. But I, I don't know how to get behind it yet. Is this easy? Well, there's no way to hit that. No, there is, but I have to get in from this angle. But you can't get over there, at least from there. I don't even know if I'm just going on a giant fucking goose chase right now. I prefer not to look this up, but I don't want to spend all my time doing an optional thing. But, like, I want to complete it because, like, it's an easy optional thing to do. But apparently it's not! <sighs> but, of course, I do so many things out of order that, like, it's so hard to tell what is proper and what's not proper.
But I also hate giving up. I can send it to my stash. I can't shoot the lock on the ladder while I'm in the water. Shoot the lock on the ladder through an opening in the wall. Another way out. an opening in the wall behind the ladder. I now have two kitties. Mahaha. <laughs> Key module. Ah. Good. Now all I need is the two part code for the door. Oh. That's funny. I got one part, but I don't have the second. And I'm having trouble getting the one part. Okay. Now for the code. Well, it was worth a try. Did I expect it to work? Oh, hell no. But was it gonna try anyway? Hell yes. If I could glitch the angle correctly, I might be able to scan that through the wall. Come on. Damn, I can't. I just gotta figure out how to get to the other side of this. That's it. Looks like I need to go up one more. I don't see a way to go up. Kind of all the way up the up. That I've been able to tell. I 
I mean, not that that means literally anything. Aloy, you are quite literally small enough to slip through the cracks. <sighs> you could 1000% go in there, Aloy. just going to just so that we're not just here forever fucking Too much effort. There's like so much to do. We're just gonna play Code Cracker. I should give this to Stemmer the next time I see him. As I said, too much effort. Can't be fucked with. Literally can't be fucked to do it. See, their problem is that they don't want people to do that. What you gotta do is make it so that the code doesn't actually manifest itself until you get both pieces of code. Because there is a way to do it. Or just lock the data module behind something that requires two pieces of code. But in case you're curious how I was supposed to get that second piece of code, I had to go outside, climb up, and then I'd have to get like a... Um, I'd have to, like, get a charged key, put it in a thing, and I was like, I can't be fucked to do this.
<laughs> Ow. Okay. I don't care about that. I'm gonna go north some more. I like how we overrode that charger and we're like, well, have fun with that slaughter spine. I can find a voice recording here. Final weapon. My focus has detected another flight recorder. That should be the last one, wherever it is. I love how her quote unquote focus has detected another thing. I'm like, okay, well, where is it, bitch? All right, because he didn't find it. There's a Cyclops drone monitoring this area. I need to grab its data. What the fuck? You are so lucky you caught that Aloy. You would have been dead to me otherwise. something to jump onto the drone. Yep. 
Damn it. No. Damn it. I have to wait an entire other cycle. So the Quen are over there. It would have been funny if they were holed up in Alcatraz or something. But who's over there? Drones data. That must be the entrance to landfall up ahead. Hey. Hey. Is that her? The living ancestor. The diviner wasn't lying. She looked. This is landfall, right? I'm looking for Alva. Overseer Bohai ordered us to invite you before him should you approach. Please, come with me. Go Ordered on. us. Let him know we're coming. It's her! The Diviner was right. They have an actual ship. They are definitely Asian in nature. Which I think is very interesting, but not surprising. I guess when- Overseer Bohai, a stranger just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat lurking in such a guise. I am no threat, okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... May I present our honored CEO. So, here she is. CEO. Mystery. CEO. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CEO. How can she appear as Sobek and yet know nothing of our ways? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land, an ocean apart from the realm of the chosen? And if so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? I'm looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. I guess you could say I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. We found Thebes. The final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. It isn't far, but the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that a machine has our people pinned behind their defenses, but they are holding out. <laughs> Machines, huh? 
I can help with that. Alva told us that you are indeed formidable. But I have a few questions first. We will answer what we can. See, the way all this is set up makes me believe that what they found has more to do with, like, obviously, you know, um, each uh, group grew up with certain ideals, the, um, um, fuck, whatever, um, Aloy's clan is, grew up as deeply religious, probably due to some religious text that they found. Therefore, that is their way of life. Uh, then, of course, there is the Osirum, who took the machinery portions. Then there were the, um, I can't remember everyone's names, but then you come to here and you've got the uh, plant Vegetarians, the vegans, the farming, Demeter, basically. And then you've got the warriors. And now, this is literally business. You've got the CEO. He is held above all else, like. <laughs> so you found Thebes. How? The ancestors revealed it to us not long after we made landfall. Almost a year ago. Through a scrap of ancient data discovered by Alva and verified by myself. It contained details about the construction of a great underground palace. Where exactly? Close. Beneath the Great Pyramid in the ruins beyond. Figures. Ted loves his pyramids. Have you been inside? Uh, no. That has been a problem, one of many. And we will solve them all in time. Getting back to the site is the one at hand. I hope you're as effective against machines as Diviner Alva suggested. What exactly are you looking for inside Thebes? I thought Alva brought back the data you needed. We risked much to cross the ocean. Therefore, we must unearth every possible link to the legacy while we are here. Especially one as important as Thebes. We will not sail back until I have plundered its secrets. So, Alva reports to you. I was chosen by my colleagues on the Board of Overseers to supervise data retrieval on this expedition, yes. Board. And you're in charge of the expedition. He is far more than that. You are addressing the cousin of the Emperor of the Quinn. Heir to the vast holdings of the Great Delta, the first CO in five generations. All she needs to understand is that I am the authority here, and my will is to attain the secrets of Thebes. Mine too. We're in luck. You crossed the ocean on these ships? Couldn't have been easy. Greatness is never easy. Indeed. It took seven years just to build the flotilla. This expedition is the most important undertaking of our generation. A quest for knowledge across the gaping sea with nothing less than the fate of our tribe at stake. And none of it would have been possible without the will of the seal. The voyage was difficult. The wilds here even more so. Our sailors and soldiers have suffered much. I know that. But all for the glory of the Quen. I'm glad to know that we get to know more about the Quen, but I still think they kind of threw the Quen, at least as of right now, it feels like they threw. What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? A thunder jaw. We've dealt with them before, but this one is... Tougher, stronger, and it has black armor. Yes. How did you know? Doesn't matter. Won't be easy, but I can take it down. 
then destiny shines upon us as I knew it would. A living ancestor now walks among us, and she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. Resupply here if you must. Then on to Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. I have a bad feeling. Chin up, soldier. You've got a long day ahead. No, no, I believe in the wind. Big pyramid to fight the Thunderjaw. Sixty-one lost at sea, nine accidents, forty-one killed in action, twenty-one barbarian kills, twenty by machine kills, sickness, malnutrition, eleven executed, seven censored, four total. One hundred and thirty-three people have died. Why? Oof. Thunderjaw's literally right here. Well, that will be a uh, no bueno, but that's a no bueno for us to deal with next week. With your help, Jesus Christ. There you are on the meds already. <laughs> Ah, the Nora. Welcome back. My work sure. sold to a living ancestor. I never would have believed it. That's a question for the divisors. Very. <laughs>
just gonna... Increase the speed of that. <laughs> Super melee attacks, because we take a lot of just flat out smashy, smashy, wacky, wacky damage. Since we'd have to go up against a Thunderjaw, I don't want to do that right now. And not just a Thunderjaw, it's an Apex Thunderjaw. So it's a Thunderjaw on steroids, which we'll do next week. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody, stay. Funk up, Apple.